everyone. I'm sure you've all heard of the Echo Park Mystery Warehouse boxes that they sell a few times a year for $50 and that includes shipping and you receive about $175 worth of products. I did my first mystery box just a couple of months ago and uh, I really enjoyed it. Although I will probably only use maybe half of what's in the box and maybe sell the rest of it. It was still fun to get and the price was perfect. Um, so I thought I would try it again when they offered it just recently after Christmas time. And I do buy a lot of Echo Park and Cartabella. So the odds of me not already having a lot of what's in the box is probably slim, but I figure I can use the stuff from the box that I like and maybe sell the rest of the stuff on eBay or if I have friends or something that might want it, we'll see. But just wanted to try it again and share with you guys what I got. So the first thing I see at the top of the box is this um, embossing folder. I'm sorry about the glare. I'm trying to tone down on that. But it's just got holly leaves, so I think it's a really nice basic embossing folder. I'm not sure if I have one with holly leaves or not. If I don't, then I will use this one, and if I do, then I'll probably just sell this one. But I still like it. It's a great addition to my embossing folder collection. I got two washi tapes. One is from My Favorite Christmas and it's a red snowflake. So I like that one. I will definitely use that one. And one is from Cartabella Snow Much Fun. This one actually doesn't look super wintry except for that snowflake that's randomly put in there. But I'm not crazy about this one. I probably will not use that one, but I will definitely use the other one. I got the Echo Park uh, Dive Into Summer stickers. They're um, they're little puffy stickers. They're very, very um, flat for puffy stickers, which I do like. I do like to use more flat stickers. Um, I actually have the 6x6 six six paper pad of this line. I have a couple of them, actually. So um, these will definitely get used probably on summer cards. Maybe pages, but I don't have anything beach-related to do, so maybe cards or something. I got two packs of these paper fans. One is from Rockabye Baby and one is from Summer Dreams. And although I think these are pretty, I will not use these because they're just too 3D for me. I like to keep my stuff flat, as I just said, and these are just very 3D. So I will not be hanging on to those. I got two chipboard Freeze stickers. This is from Flower Market, and I believe that I got the 12 by 12 paper pad of this in my last box, so I will probably sell those together because I'm just not going to use them. I mean, they're cute. I just, I don't have a use for them, so someone else might. This one's from A Cozy Christmas. I did get a lot of things from that. It seemed like a lot of things from that line in my last box. It probably was just a few things, but I'm guessing this line may not have sold as well, or they just had an overabundance of it because I feel like everybody seemed to get that in their box. I got two paper pads. One is Summer Camp, and I did buy a 6x6 six six camping paper pad from Tuesday morning a few weeks ago. Um, not because I like to camp, because I don't camp, but these um, would be cute for outdoor-themed cards, or just masculine cards, I guess I should say. And that's probably what I'll use, like these basic patterns and things for, would be good for outdoor masculine cards. So that's what that one looks like. And then Warm and Cozy. This one is a Christmas line, as you can tell. I like that snowflake. But yeah, this is a good overall Christmas. I tend to like the brighter Christmas colors more, but this is a cute paper pad as well. So I got a 12 by 12 paper pad, jungle, or I'm sorry, animal safari. And I actually do already own this line and I have a couple sheets of each. So I don't know if I'm going to keep this one or not. It is a really cute line and it's got kind of muted jewel tone colors, which is nice. I do like my animal paper to look a little bit realistic. So this is a a good line but I haven't even used what I have yet and I have so many zoo papers as it is so I may not keep this one 
Ooh, this one's cute. Wedding Bliss. I've not gotten this line. I don't normally have use for that kind of stuff, but I do have a Facebook page where I sell my greeting cards and I do need to make some wedding type ones. I don't have a lot of those. And this is actually a mega bundle. So it comes with, it says 12 double-sided papers. It comes with six double-sided solids, which would be these right here. Um, it comes with two ephemera die cut sheets and one element sticker sheet. So this one comes with a lot more than their normal basic collection kit. So it's got your pinks and grays and blacks, a little bit of brown in there. So it's actually a really, really pretty line. I will use that to make some wedding cards at some point. Dots and stripes foil. So this happens to be the dot pack. They do have a stripe pack as well. And I actually got something like this in my last box, but I have a set that just has the reds and greens and then a set with just the blues. And so this one actually has a little bit of all of those colors. So I kind of like that a lot. I don't know if it really comes with a certain collection or not. I don't think so. Ooh, I like this one too. This Cartabella Merry Christmas line. I really like this line and I already have it. But I thought about getting more of it just because I like these bright Christmas colors. Like, I like these ornaments, like all these colors. And, you know, just, I like the bright colors. So, this one will get used for Christmas pages or Christmas cards. So, I like that one. I'm glad to get another one of those. The Great Outdoors. Again, another outdoorsy one. Here's a close-up of some of the papers so again this one i would maybe make some masculine cards with or i may sell it i'm not sure but it does have a number of like basic papers in there so i'd have to just see you know if they are on a side that has something else that i wouldn't use let's be mermaids i already have this one as well lots of it too so um we'll see i've got um a queen and company shaker kit that has ocean it's got mermaids and starfish and sharks and dolphins and stuff so i do also teach online card classes so i may use this paper pack in one of my card classes since i've got a lot of it now and uh maybe make those ocean life shakers or something another 12 by 12 set this one is jungle safari I have this one as well. I love zoo paper. I go to zoos and I have a lot of zoo stuff to scrapbook. So I have almost every zoo line that exists. But um, I like this one a lot. It's got that more muted realistic tone as well, with, which I like. But again, since I have it, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep it. But this paper pack especially would be good if you have Animal Kingdom pictures to do. And then I got a Celebrate Easter. I don't do Easter scrapbooking or Easter cards really, so I'm not sure if I'll use this paper pack or not. I will have to see, you know, what's on each side of the paper because I see a lot of basic ones that I can use for other things, but it depends, like, hopefully there's not basic on both sides. If there's Easter on one side and basic on another, then I can use some of that in my card classes or something. And then the last thing in the box looks like a few individual sheets that they have in a plastic sleeve. All right, we have, okay, we have two sticker sheets from the Well Played line. So it's got game stuff on it. This, I believe, is an older line of Cartabella's. So, um, yeah, I vaguely remember this one, but I got two of those. And then a few sheets, it looks like three sheets of, this one's got peppermints on it. And then the other side has cut aparts, it looks like. And they're all the same, all three of them. I will most likely use the peppermint side, probably in a card class or something. So that is everything that came in my box. Overall, I'm pretty happy with the box. Um, again, there are probably some things that I won't keep and I'll probably sell, but I would say maybe half of the items I would probably keep, which still makes the box, you know, worth money. Plus if I sell stuff, I recoup a little bit of cost that way. But 
I would say if you haven't tried it and you don't have a lot of Echo Park stuff or Cartabella stuff, it's a great way to expand your collection for sure. So hope you enjoyed this video and have a great day. Bye.